Hi everyone, Janet Harley here and welcome to Faith in an Ever-Changing World, Encouragement and Hope, Faith Story. And today I am pleased to introduce to you Jean Woodle. Jean is the Executive Director of Our Daily Bread Kitchen in North Carolina. He is the co-founder of the Village of Barnabas, a grassroots organization set out to mentor at-risk youth. Jean is also a varsity boys track head coach and an assistant basketball coach. He is the recipient of the Russell E. Murphy Youth Mentoring Award and the Governor's Volunteer Service Award. Jean is extremely passionate about working with the youth in his community in hopes of giving them a chance to succeed, not only in school or sports, but in life. Hi, hello, Jean, and welcome. Thank you for being with me today. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate this. <laughs> sure. If you will, please share with us your faith story. Not faith story. Well, I think, I guess growing up, you know, always seeing my mom with a positive attitude, always praying, praying for us. We all struggle around the bed. She, uh, so I guess I always had faith. Uh, my wife said, man, you believe you just, anything, you just never, never doubt anything. She's always saying, uh, you can do all things through Christ, my mom. So I, I took that and ran with it. And so my faith story, I guess you could say, is me growing up and and wanting to really make a change in people's lives and the difference in the community. As I see my little coaches, little wee coaches did with me, they always took me places and fed me and so I so I said when I get older, I I'm gonna do the same thing. So I I I, I started um coaching and mentored probably way before Village of Barnabas when I was in high school. And just always try to be there for people and try to carry people about really God and just have a positive attitude. Mm. And with Illinois, so years later, work and come back home. I was coming home and somebody was driving on the wrong side of the road on the highway, which at night, 10 o'clock, I just knew my life was over then. That kind of changed me. David faith, Lord, you got to help me. It was just close to head on collision. So I had mm. to swerve over and the car and the car just went on the other goodness. side and it missed me by just that much. So I probably would be here to be able to um, help others. And so that that kind of just boosted my faith even more in God. And, and that's why I run. That's why I'm always doing stuff. People are like, man, when you sleep, I like, I don't have time to sleep. I'm scared I'm going to miss something or miss some helping somebody or whatever. But but God is the faith. My faith level is pretty high. I believe yeah. all things like it's possible to go through God, of course. So I'm always trying to, I don't know, move mountains. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so if, I, if somebody said it can't be done, I'm going to try to get it done. Uh, here at the soup kitchen, uh, people are very pleased with. They just coming in and just take it to another level. Um, I don't think I'm doing anything extraordinary, but just believing the trust in God and uh, just having the faith that I can get things done. And that's what I've been doing. I've just been, the Lord, seeking Him and just order my steps and just follow the path that He laid out. So I like, Lord, you got to do it. And He He was really, really blessing me, blessing this community through me and. The soup kitchen, I heard people say they've been here for four or five years to volunteer and never seen it like this. And so it's just, uh, it's just a just testament to God uh, remaining faithful to me as I do with work. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you're doing a great job at the soup kitchen and it's a wonderful and, and all and all of the organizations that you are uh, participating in. And uh, I know it's it's taken a lot of takes faith every day, doesn't it? It really does. It does. I tell my kids all the time. You driving down the street, you know, 
on a two lane highway, it takes faith to go faster than the car because it's not easy to swerve and hit you. So we have faith. Sometimes we don't even realize how much faith we have in the in, in situation. Uh, I tell the kids that I'm coaching, uh, like I'm also the head coach of the middle school football team, and I try to teach them more than just life uh, football, but try to teach them life lessons. And, it's, and I always try to build up their character and I always try to have, tell them to have more faith, you know, confidence that they can also yeah. expand and excel in anything they do, especially in the classroom. Um, that's first and foremost. Mm-hmm. So uh, you can do it there and, you know, don't worry about what other people say. As long as you believe in God and you have the faith and the care, you can do it. So try to try to steal that to all the kids, including uh, Village of Barnabas mentors, those kids, you know, they're beat down all their life. You know, people say, oh, you know, be like, you know, good daddy uh, or family members, you know, generational curses. I said, well, mm-hmm. we hear generational curses, curses into generational blessings. So we just to just make a blessing after blessing instead of curse. Oh, after. yeah. So we, we're trying to, you know, we talk to them, we teach them, you know, teach them the Bible, sort of mm-hmm. having a call with all of them and just Wonderful. Feed, them, feed them positive information. Uh, my wife, Marcus Lowry, you know, Quentin, Sherry Lewis, you know, we just just want to keep pumping them with uh, faith building words, character building words, so they can have faith. And so that's that's why my faith is probably so strong, you know, because I, I try to I try to read and pray and, mm-hmm. and, and you know, so my mom, my aunt, they got a lot of passion in my family. So I know a lot of people don't pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I it's all, all, you know, I can feel all of those, you know. Even when I was in college, you know, her old Bishop Pearl Williams, he had a church in there at the time, so they'll come and get me and take me to church. And, and it's just like, oh. uh, it was always there. So I always had people there, and I think that helps me with my faith a lot and my, and my church building. And always wanting to just try to see people, if I can help somebody, I will. I don't try to hoard anything, keep anything to myself. I just, if I can help you uh, get to the next level, I'm going to try my best. Oh. Well, Gene, thank you so much for your inspiration, your encouragement, uh, your passion for youth and uh, for your faith. And I know God, you know, we obey and God blesses. He does. He really does. He does. <laughs> like, yeah, he's awesome. So it doesn't even surprise me. I know some people be surprised when good things happen. It doesn't surprise me at all because I know God's word and what it says. So that's right. I hold hold true to it. Oh, well, God bless you. And uh, we thank you very much. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thank you for watching and have faith and look up, friends, where our help comes from. That's right. Look at the God bless. Thank you.